All right, hi, and welcome to our 18th 52 week blender challenge. This is the 18th video. Sorry if I messed that up there. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. We're going to do another um, bucket, but this is going to be like a wooden one. Um, and it's kind of one of those like has multiple parts. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Delete this. Shift A as cylinder. And we're going to do like 12 parts. Mm, yeah. That's good. All right. So edit mode. We're going to select all the faces on the top here and then on the top here, just these. And then ES, we want the piece of wood parts about this thick. So that's not too bad. Uh, go to face mode, select this. And that's going to be shifty. We want this face. And then go GC up here. Then we're going to go x-ray mode and delete everything down here. I know that's a little extreme, but uh, it works. Vertice mode, just make sure we don't have any strays right there. All right. Now press, select this, press N, and let's go to zero. And that's fine where this is, so don't worry too much about it. Um, and this, let's go press E, point four, then E, point one, then E, point five. All right, that is what we want. Go to X-ray mode. Take X-ray mode off, go to materials, because we're going to add materials into this one. Um, and if my, okay, uh, so let's go back to edit mode here. We're going to go to faces, and it's going to be, select all the faces. Um, this is going to be like wood. It's going to be a brown. Light brown is fine. Make it a little darker. All right, cool. Um, now let's create another one. All right, new. And we're just going to select the faces here. Assign that to this material. All right, make it. See, this is a drawback between laptops, especially if they're not like high end. They tend to freeze up and you can't really mod them too much, unfortunately. Okay, cool. And then let's see what that looks like. Eh, it's not terrible. All right, now go back to edit mode. And we're gonna select this part and we're gonna go object transform, actually set origin to geometry, that's fine. And then let's do, what's it called? Um, we're gonna wrap this around and how we do that is shift A, go to empty arrows, select this. Then we're going to go to this array, object offset, select our array here, take relative offset off, and do fixed length. All right. So RC, sorry. R C. Hmm. I might have forgotten something. Okay, take that off. Select this. Then Control A. All transforms first. Okay. Then at the modifier, which is the array, we're gonna do fixed count, and we're gonna do object offset, 
and the object is going to be this right here and we're going to do 12 and then it's like our array right here r c 12 like that but that's not what you want what we want is 360 divided by 12 and that did not work okay so r c so what is 12 what is 360 divided by 12 i know math but you know you gotta know it 30 degrees okay sorry i'm terrible at math okay okay r c 30 now we got our wood paneling right here nice um and then let's go with shift a let's create a little cylinder and go s c like that big and then g y sorry g c just about that much all right let's go g c down go to snap mode make sure it's face projection uh, and then G, C, G, sorry, G, C. What's going on here? Yeah, face projection. G, C. All right, that's good. Um, then let's add a modify, uh, sorry, material to that. And we're just gonna add the dark wood material here. And then we have our nice little um, multi, what's it called? Uh, multi uh, wood plank um, bucket. And that's a pretty simple enough um, bucket uh, for, uh, I guess your games, or if you wanna print it out and make it smaller. Um, because this is not really up to scale. It's like meters wide. <laughs> yeah, I think we still have units. We didn't really do this to a realistic uh, scale. All right, but I uh, hope that helped. EC bucket, multiple planks. Till next time.